Right, hello everybody. So, so I'm filming on a new phone, my i, i, a- Apple iPhone, which I picked up just a few days ago. Um, actually, it was a week ago today. I'm still trying to work it out, so I'm hoping that I'm in the view and so are the chickens. I'm going to give you a quick run around on the allotment, see, uh, show you what I, show you what I've been doing since the last video. Okay, and there you go. Anyway, there's a quick shot. Of the uh, the chickens as you know uh i think it's about three months ago the uh one of them died so i'm down to three these are looking really well there you go yeah they're a little bit too tame in times because they they don't they got selective uh selective hearing they do what they're told sometimes but only when they feel like it anyway all right, so uh, yeah, I've got a lot of um, greenery. I've been getting some weeds off of the uh, neighbouring plots. Well, I haven't, but they, they've been giving them to me. So I've been throwing them down. Uh, the trick is, uh, the idea is that they'll they'll eat whatever bugs are in there, uh, and also whatever leaves they want. And then whatever they don't want will rot down. The worms will come up and eat the greenery, and they'll eat the worms. So that works out. There you go. There's that tire I got off the side of the road. Now. This is new. I built this a month or so, a couple of months ago. I, I built a square frame uh, out, out of. Get, go on, get back. Yeah. Uh, built a square frame out of out of some bits of uh, bits of pallet wood, I think, and then uh, put some. Right, that's it. They're trying to make an escape while I'm doing the. Uh, cut, yeah, put some grill, uh, some, some wire mesh there, and the idea is you put it down there, you throw lots of seeds, there's grass, there's lettuce, there's cabbage, there's all kinds of greenery things there, you throw them in and just let it grow wild. And as you can see, they've been kicking up all the, uh, the bits of dirt and wood chips and that, but I have to, I have to get them out every now and again. Uh, yeah, and they just eat what grows through the grill, so, you, so the grass uh, and the greenery won't die, ever, everlasting... Uh, greenery food for them anyway yeah they want to get out but if they get out i can't control them while i'm filming anyway so so yeah every day i, I go in there i turn this over with a fork or every every couple of days and uh throw a of greenery down there now let's see uh yeah nothing new over there i think that's the uh, the the some kind of berry just two little berry bushes in there oh actually and if you look on the allotment uh, videos, my allotment videos on the playlist. You'll see me when I um, when I put installed this and I filled it. You you see me filling it and uh, with logs of <coughs> logs of wood, uh, newspaper, all, all kinds of crap, and you know throw the wood chips and manure and all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, all I got to do is top it up now and again. Now, oh, actually, I'll show you. They you got a quick glimpse of the tires, but. That's the uh, rhubarb. I got that. They've been growing for about two two months or so. I got those off a cutting, or you know, from the roots from another plant. You know, that's how I got those, and I just just let them grow wild. Now that is gonna be the same as these raised beds. You've seen me. Um, I've built those out of pallets. Uh, fill them up with put some big logs underneath. Wood chip branches uh newspapers all kinds of stuff you've seen that you've seen me they'll do the videos the same thing with these this i got from work there was a, a big delivery the boss had a delivery of uh, patio slabs delivered on a pallet for his home and it was wrapped in this wire so i took it home put it in a circle lined it with smaller wire mesh put some uh, huge logs in the bottom so there you go there's one there you can't quite see the others, but there's like four or five huge logs. Newspaper. There's a shirt I was wearing at the time when I built this thing, and I, and I ripped it. I ripped my shirt. I think I'm out. Um, I'm, I'm starting to um, go to a you know a high protein diet. You know, with my milkshake, so I was, I'm getting a little bit more muscle. And I ripped my shirt, so I threw that in. It's all good. All adds to the flavour. And then all this is all. Uh, uh, the contents of the compost bins that are behind me. Okay, so I threw all that in, lots of wood chip, 
uh, bunch of manure and uh, as you can see that was a, a month ago and it, the, the level has dropped it was almost to the bad inch or so from the top uh, the level has dropped as it's sort of started to settle down rot 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 and uh, you know it's sort of filling the gaps over here so yeah that's uh, that's something new so that's going to be a what they call a, a huge because there's lots of it's a hugel culture there's lots of different types I've done that one in the, these are all huge cultures, the raised beds. I've done the one where the, uh, when I dug down, you see me do a, a, a big hole, 11 foot long by five wide by about two foot deep. That's what the chicken run is connect, uh, sitting on. Now, these, I got, uh, I got some car tires off of the uh, neighboring plots. When somebody leaves a plot here, they, they tell everybody and everybody dives in like a bunch of vultures and, uh, snatch anything that's not nailed down anyway so i got these tires off of uh, one of the plots there you go so that's too high there you go uh got some logs over from it when the council dropped the wood chip which they do every once in a blue moon they uh they they brought over some br uh, logs that they i guess they couldn't be bothered chipping so it's handy so i grabbed those threw them in there the idea is same as the Hugo culture over there, same as this Hugo culture. Logs in the bottom, branches, newspaper, wood chip, banana peel, everything else goes in there, bit of compost, wood chip to level it off. And uh, yeah, just constant, just keep on watering it. And all you gotta do is just top it up with wood chip, like, uh, like these uh, wooden ones over here. Any road, so there's one, there's two, there's another one, uh, same thing, wood chips, uh, wood logs. There's a third one. Same thing, nice and nice thing. Those logs will take years to uh, to to uh, not melt down uh, to uh, rot away. They'll take years. Uh, the branches in it will take less years, but the, you know, and, and then the wood chip will take months and months, um, and then the uh, vegetable matter you throw in there. So everything will dissolve at a different rate. You don't want it all going in at once because. Uh, you need a, a gradual uh, rotting of all the stuff to, uh, you know, sort of a layered effect. So when you put plants in there, it'll feed off whatever's rotted and then something else will, anyway, you get the idea. All right, and there's number one, two, there's number four. This one is three tires high. So this one uh, can go extra deep. There you go. Now, the, the, as you can see, they're standing upright with the with a cut edge upwards. So the water will go down and immediately hit the cut edge. This one is on its side, as you can see. So what I done, what I didn't want was to water to go down, permeate through the wood chip, end up on the logs, and what it'll do, it'll hit the bark and then just roll off. It, it'll stop it from, because that's what bark does, it protects the wood. So what I done, I got a wood saw, started cutting, making cuts and grooves and scraping all this bark off there, all the way around. So when the water hits it, it'll immediately have a head start. Um, you know, to, to rot the wood. As soon as the wood starts rotting, the, the, the sooner the better. Anyway, there you go. Oh, I got given a plant. I don't know what it is, some kind of rose, uh, rose, uh, oh, Jesus, cherry or something. I don't even know. You know, I just plant stuff and it's all going uh, crazy. All right, I still got to figure out something to do with this log. I've been drilling some holes in there to try and increase the, uh, increase the water into the log to make it rot. There you go. So uh, a row of Hugo culture raised beds made out of pallets, a row of tires, one on the end there made of uh, wire. There you go. Wheelbarrow falling apart. I've got to get a new one. This is going to be an expense. Jesus. All right. There you go. And there's a thing. And there's the chickens. Making less noise now, now they've settled down. Okay, so uh, there you have it. Hopefully you can see me there. Um, yeah, once I figure out how to work this camera uh, properly, because what I wanted to do was to be able to see myself on the screen um, and, and then flip it around, but I can't do it. So I'm actually looking at the, uh, the back of the phone there. So hopefully you can see that. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Um... You know, I, I've still got a, you know, I've had a few problems. I'm always having problems with a bloody computer. 
you know, and because uh, I don't know anything about computers, I've got to get somebody round. Anyway, so uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'll go live and I'll show you my new phone. I'll tell you about that, and I've got some good deal. I've got a good deal on the phone as well. And I, I'll, uh, anyway, okay. So there you have it. Uh, just over ten minutes. Thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And um, there you go. And hopefully that, hopefully that will inspire somebody. Because, and also, unlike like these, these are less portable. Because at these, you've got to sort of, if you want to move these, or you know, you've got to empty them out and then move them. These, these are excellent because you can just take one off, two off, clear out all out, take three off, move it over, reassemble it. You know, it's all good. So. Uh, yeah, there you go. So it's recycling, you know, and, and these you can get fairly cheap. I mean, I got these cheap because I took them off somebody's allotment plot. Um, the one in there I found on the side of the road, I half buried it. So they use it as a climbing frame. And also they go through the hole in there. Uh, you can go to a car scrap yard and pick these up. I would imagine that they'll give you them for next to nothing or if, if anything, because Apparently, I'm, I've, what I've, I've done a little bit of research ages ago, and apparently they're as hard as hell to recycle. You know, so uh, it, it, you know maybe they'll give them to you for free just to get them out of there. So uh, yeah, just an idea, you know. And um, you know, put some logs in there, put some stuff. You can grow anything you want, strawberries and uh, and all, you know whatever you like. Okay, that's that. Actually, what I'll do. I'll just do a couple of minutes uh, close up with the chickens because people uh, people write to me asking about the chickens and uh, how they're getting on. They like to see them. So I'll just do a couple of minutes of these and then I'll go and leave you to it. Feels like it's going to rain, so uh, wrap things up. There you go, using it as a climate, that's what they like. They like to get off the ground. And that's what they do with this uh, evergreen growing thing. They'll stand on the grill, they'll eat whatever grows through the grill. And uh, unlike the grass out on the allotment and every place else, what they do, they, they normally what they do, they scratch it up and nothing will grow. But because it's got a grill on it, they can't kill the grass, they can just nip what grows through and it keeps on growing. What you got to do is just toss a few more seeds down now and again. Anyway, there you go, I'm going to try this zoom. It's got, it's got a zoom button, an instant in and out. There you go. <laughs> I tell you, I don't, I'm not big on technology, you know, I hate having to learn new stuff. But I'm gradually picking this up. All right, anyway, so that's that. And I'll, um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think with them tires and whatnot. And if you're going to follow the example, uh, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.